News is your back-to-school authority, and today school was a big topic at the governor's news briefing. Governor Lamont announced that he'll leave it up to individual school districts to make the call between in-class learning or a hybrid plan. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell joins us now with more on what this will mean for families. Yeah, Kara, it definitely gives the schools a little more leeway in rolling out its plans. The governor, though, still very clear. He'd like kids to go back in the fall, but today he did announce it's the kids 10 through 19 who have the highest rate of infections in our state. Now, the overall infection rate, it's still very low, hovering around 1%, but nevertheless, it is the younger group that's getting hit right now. So we are seeing the state give more of that freedom to districts to determine how they want to return. However, if a district wants to go 100% online, they'd need state approval. Also new tonight, the districts will be assessed on a county-by-county county basis. Remember when the virus ramped up in March, Fairfield County was hit hard while Wyndham County didn't really see a thing. So if something like that were to happen again, we'd see the state respond to the hot spot rather than having a statewide mandate. Give a little bit of flexibility to those local leaders going forward. We'll be updating the metrics on a weekly basis. So, for example, if there's a spike in infections, there's a surge in hospitalizations, at that point we're going to be in a strong position to um, change course and, um, you know, get people um, in a different type of educational environment. Now, the governor brought on Dr. Zeke Emanuel as a guest today. He's formerly from the NIH, and he, too, is in favor of reopening schools, calling it essential. But even he concedes that changes will need to be made on the school bus and in sports. What that could look like at 6. But for now, that's the latest live above the newsroom. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.